Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with another haul. Um, this is kind of a random haul but I've got a bunch of different fragrances in here. I put in another order with perfumeonline.ca and I also uh, have and I also have an order from uh, Fragrance Net here, and I've got a couple of eBay finds as well. So um, I've got quite a bit to go through. I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. So the I'll start with everything that I picked up from PerfumeOnline.ca uh, first, and the first one that I picked up is a fragrance from Etro, and I have been wanting to try uh, perfumes from this house for so long, but they're not easily accessible. They're not very easy to find here in the States, so um, they've got a few different ones on Perfume Online, and the one that I picked up is called Mar Marquetry, Marquetry? Uh, and this is an Eau de Parfum, and this one is in such a beautiful bottle and it comes with this pretty card that sits in the back and it's this be really beautiful box but this bottle is just so pretty it's got like this gold design all over it um, it's got a really pretty lid on it <sighs> I am in love with this. So this is definitely not a warm weather fragrance at all. This is definitely a cold weather fragrance. But this smells like, I the, to me this is a Tonka bean fragrance. That is the most prominent note to my nose. This is going to be something along the lines of like Feve de Lisieuse by uh, Christian Dior. Um, something like that, warm, dreamy, Tonka bean, uh, just lovely. So, um, marquetry is bergamot, lavender, peach, galbanum, tonka bean, peru balsam, rose, amber, vanilla, labdanum, coumarin, and musk. And you do, it's like tonka bean and labdanum. I get a little bit of the coumarin. It's adding just a touch of like spiciness. It's just gorgeous. Um, when I first smelled this out of the bottle, I loved it, but when I sprayed it on my skin, oh my gosh, it was magic. It just dried down to the most beautiful, fuzzy, warm Tonka bean fragrance. So, so happy to pick this one up. It was so inexpensive too, like $48 or something. Sorry, here comes my dog, click, 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 click. <laughs> But yeah, it was like 40, I want to say in the $40 range. I have another one on my wish list. It's the Musk one. If you guys have tried the Musk um, fragrance from Etro, please let me know in the comments down below because I would love to know uh, what your thoughts are on it before I pick that one up. So anyways, that is Etro uh, Marquetry. Marquetry. Okay, the next one I picked up is another Carner Barcelona fragrance, and this one is called uh, Tardis or Tardis. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to butcher it, I'm sure, but this is another gorgeous. I love these boxes, too. I just love how they open. It's like a little gift. Um, I love their bottles with the wood lids. I just think they're beautiful. So my first one has like a lighter lit wood lid on it and this one has like a dark wood lid on it. It's just gorgeous. Um, this is a beautiful powdery almond fragrance. It's got some rose in it. This is gorgeous. This is going to turn into um, an, another like ride or die comfort fragrance for me, uh, which I'm going to film a video right after this um, about like my ride or die cozy fragrances. Those fragrances that I just spray on when I need to feel better, like if I'm sad or I'm just kind of having a not good day or something has upset me or I just want to feel comforted and cozy. Uh, I have a whole set of fragrances that I turn to and I think this is going to end up in that list because it's just beautiful. So uh, Tardes is or Tardis is geranium, rose, rosewood, almond, cedar, plum, celery, tonka, musk, and heliotrope. And this is a beautiful, sweet, 
powdery, comforting. You get the rose and the heliotrope and the almond. It's very, very beautiful. You can smell the celery, but it's like not... It's not adding anything weird, if that makes any sense. It's just beautiful fragrance. I'm so happy I picked this one up, and it was so affordable, too, like in the 40-something 40, 40 dollar range. And this is going to end up being one of those ride-or-die comfort fragrances for me. So anyways, that is Kerner Barcelona Tardes or Tardies. Ooh. Okay, so I just noticed on the back of this box it's got some um, notes and some things. It says, a tribute to the peace and harmony of a Mediterranean summer evening surrounded by wheat fields, almond trees, and geraniums. So, um, yeah, this is just such a beautiful fragrance. I think I'm going to hang on to the box for this one. I didn't with the other one, but I just feel like I like that it's got the notes and that little sentence so I'm gonna keep that one. The next one I picked up is one that has been on my want list for many many months like a very long time and I finally picked it up. I found it it was on per, uh, perfumeonline.ca for very inexpensive like 20, 20 something maybe somewhere between 25 and 35 dollars I want to say it was really inexpensive but this is Al Haramain and this is Janune Noir and this is a beautiful box too like you pull it out and there's your fragrance um really big beautiful box so this comes in this beautiful sparkly black bottle and i can't remember if i've tried anything from al Haramain yet or not i feel like i have but i can't think of what Okay, so this one, um, I've read a lot of good things about, and this one is, let's see here, uh, Lime, Kumquat, Oris, Jasmine, Lily of the Valley, Violet, Sandalwood, Cedar, Vanilla, and Musk. And I like this fragrance. I like this fragrance, but this is probably not one I'm going to keep in my collection. Um, I like it, but there's something about the combination of the Oris and the Lime and the Kumquat that's giving it this weird... It's like um, I've got some kind of a scent memory connected to this, and it's something like what that Katy Perry Mad Potion um, did for me, where it was kind of like plastic toys, Play-Doh, that kind of thing. I'm getting that kind of plastic toys vibe from this. Um, it does the same thing on my skin, so I do like how this smells. I think that there's just something off about it to me. Um, it's, it's just a strange fragrance for me. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't like it either. So yeah, this is one that will not be staying in my collection. It's interesting. A lot of people love it. It gets really, really good reviews, but I'm going to keep it in the box for sure because this one will be, this will be leaving. So anyways, that is Al Haramain Janune Noir. Okay, and then the last one I picked up from perfumeonline.ca is another ELDO fragrance, and these are so affordable on that website. Um, this is one I've been wanting for a long time. This is called Dangerous Complicity, and this is a gorgeous Osmanthus fragr fragrance, um, Osmanthus and Jasmine. Oh my gosh, I adore this fragrance is so beautiful. The only thing about this, I wish it lasted a little bit longer on my skin, but I love how this smells so much that I don't even, 
it'll be okay. It'll be fine. I do get about four hours out of it, so it's not like horrible, but it won't get me through a work day or anything. Um, so Dangerous Complicity is Osmanthus, Jasmine, Leather, and Rum. And I'm quite sure there are other notes in here. Oh gosh. You really get the rum in this. It's definitely like a beautiful, boozy, almost tea-like fragrance, which I know is kind of strange <sighs> because of the osmanthus and the jasmine. It gives it this kind of tea quality. <sighs> and then the booziness of the rum. I just adore this so, so much. So anyways, that is Dangerous Complicity from uh, ELDO, which is Etat Libra d'Orange. So I'm horrible and I try to just use, try to not pronounce things if I can get away with it. But yeah, I love that fragrance. Now we're gonna move on to the things that I picked up from FragranceNet. The first one I picked up is a fragrance from Juliet Has a Gun and this is called Sunny Side Up. And um, I love Juliet Has a Gun's packaging, this styrofoam or I'm hoping this is some kind of a biodegradable foam and not styrofoam, but um, you just kind of open it up like a book and there's your fragrance. And <sighs> this is beautiful. I adore this fragrance. The con this has no fig in it, but the combination of notes in here smells exactly like fig to me which, and I adore fig, so, oh, this is gorgeous. I love it. I love the bottle, too. I love the yellow lid. Just super cute, but, okay, so, uh, sunny side up is amorous, jasmine, vanilla absolute, orris root, more jasmine, coconut milk, ambrette, which is musk mallow, and iso e super. I adore this. The orris in this is very, very strong, so, if you like Oris, you will like this. If you don't like Oris, you will not. Um, you can definitely smell the Iso E Super, which I really like Iso E Super. Um, some people really don't like it, though, so if you don't like it, you wouldn't like this either. It's just beautiful. I love this. This is like a cozy summer fragrance. Um, and again, it ends up smelling like fig to me and on my skin, which I really, really adore. So anyways, that is Juliet Has a Gun, Sunny Side Up. The next couple that I picked up are Katy Perry fragrances. These ones I'm still on the fence about. I need to give them both a really good wear, but I will tell you, the first one I picked up is called Katy Perry, um, Katy Perry's Indie, and I sprayed this on one hand, and I had the Juliet Has a Gun Sunny Side Up on the other hand, and they smelled very, very similar to me. So I was like, wow, I just bought two perfumes that smell exactly alike and I had no idea they would smell that close. So if you want like somewhat of a dupe of Sunny Side Up, here you go. Um, this smells so, so close to it. It's insane. I had no idea. It really does though. So um, Katy Perry's Indie is White tea, plum, bergamot, cyclamen, lily of the valley, white cedar extract, amber, tonka bean, musk, white musk, black musk, Egyptian musk, and island musk. So tons of musk in here. And there were there was musk in both the middle and the base of the Juliet has a gun as well. So yeah, to me these are super super similar fragrances. Um, this was like fourteen bucks, and this one's like. I don't know, on fragrance net, I think it was in the 40 something dollar range. So you could definitely get this and get the same type of experience as with this. So I just think it's funny that I just happened to order the two and they smell so alike. So it's not that I don't like this, it's that I've already got the Juliet Has a Gun, so I really don't need this in my collection because it really, really smells so similar to it. So anyways, that is Katy Perry's Indie. I also picked up Katy Perry's Indie Visible. Yeah, so um, this one, this one smells somewhat similar to Indie to me, but this one has like a little bit of a sweetness in the top. It's a little bit fruitier, um, but it's not a fruity fragrance. 
um, this one, this is the one that I really need to give it a good wear test to see if I'm going to enjoy this or not. I don't, let's just spray it on my hand. Um, I can't, it's one of those fragrances where it's like, I kind of like how it smells, but I kind of don't like how it smells. So yeah, I'm not totally sure about this one yet, but Indivisible is pink pepper, plum, vanilla, rum, coconut, gardenia, tonka bean, sandalwood, patchouli, and musk. I get a lot of plum in this. I get the coconut, but the coconut's more like a watery coconut. It's not like a, um, it's not like a sickeningly sweet coconut. But this is definitely like warm and fruity smelling. You get a little bit of woodiness from the sandalwood and the tonka bean. I'm not getting a ton of gardenia, but there's a, like a little bit of a floral um, kind of aspect there. It's like I can't pick out if I like this or not. It sweetens up on my skin, so like it's not so sweet when I spray it on, but then as it dries down, it starts to sweeten up a lot, which I actually really like about it. The plum really, really starts to come out in it. So yeah, I'm going to have to play with this one. Um, I'm definitely not going to hang on to the Indie because, like I say, it's so similar to my Sunny Side Up. But this one, this one I'm on the fence with. I don't know if I love it or not. I'm going to play with it. I'm going to give it a couple of good, really, sorry, a couple of really good wear tests, and then we will see. Um, I'll do some kind of a follow-up, like, when I do my weekly um, fragrance roundup, like what I wore that week, the week that I wear this one, which will probably be this week, um, I will give you a more like in-depth opinion on it, I should say. So anyways, that is Katy Perry's Indie Visible. So in my last video, I told you guys how um, I kind of got on this kick. I went down the rabbit hole of Creed dupes because I was looking for a good alternative to um, Aventus for my husband because that's a fragrance that he really enjoys and I knew I couldn't afford the $400 bottle of it right now. Um, we're in the process of buying a house so I am not buying anything really expensive at the moment. So I wanted to find a good affordable dupe for him and in doing so I went down the rabbit hole of Creed dupes. So the first Creed dupe that I picked up um, is a dupe of, or it's supposed to be an like alternative to uh, Silver Mountain Water by Creed. Now I have never smelled that, or I think I have smelled Silver Mountain Water, but it has been like so many years ago that I don't remember what it smells like, if I even have smelled it, um, because I went through a Creed phase many, many years, like way back in the 2000s. Um, but anyways, this is a fragrance from Al Rahab and this is called Silver. And it is supposed to be a dupe of Silver Mountain Water. Um, like I say, I don't know what Silver Mountain Water smells like exactly, but my experience with Creed and Creed dupes has always been that nothing can quite dupe Creed. Um, their fragrances are always just, they're on a different level most of the time. And so it's really hard to kind of get that quality. However, I did find a fantastic Aventus dupe, which we will be talking about. But as far as this one, um, this one is called Silver. This is stunning. I love this fragrance. Um, this was so cheap, like $10 free shipping. I mean, less than $10 free shipping. Um, it's beautiful. This is a super fresh, light, beautiful, citrusy, very unisex, um, perfect for this time of year fragrance. This just lasts absolutely no time at all on my skin. Like I can spray this on in 15 minutes later. I won't smell anything at all, um, which is fine. It was $10. I'm not going to complain, and it smells so nice while you can smell it. So silver is uh, woody notes, floral notes, citruses, watery notes, white musk, and green notes. Really, really beautiful. If you're looking for just a really inexpensive, um, you know, dupe of silver mountain water, this, I think this would be a good one. Uh, like I say, it's only $10, so 
it just doesn't last very long at all. Um, but I really like this. I'm glad that I picked it up. So anyways, that is Silver by Alrahab. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about is actually not a dupe of a Creed fragrance, but I recently, I think I, um, well, you, you would have seen, if you saw my last Royalty Sense video, you would have seen that I got Tom Ford Soleil Neige in that, uh, in my box this month, and that one is a beautiful fragrance, but it does not last on my skin at all. So I was like, well, let me go on fragrance and kind of see if there's another fragrance that people say it smells like. And so I found that a lot of people said that it smells like Kenzo Power for men. Um, and it really does. So they're definitely not the same fragrance. And so, so good. I would call it like a good alternative. I wouldn't call it like a spot on dupe. Um, Sole Neige has, I think it's got a carrot seed note in it. It does. Uh, Sole Neige has a carrot seed note in it. I love carrot seed in fragrance as a note. And this one does not have the carrot seed in it. So I think that's the one major difference, but if you want to have the same experience as Solinege, this is a fantastic alternative. Um, so yeah, Kenzo Power for men is, um, it's got spicy top notes, coriander, bergamot, cardamom, amber, and I love this. I have given this one a good wear. Um, this one I get between four to six hours out of. It's not fantastic, but it's not horrible either. Um, I didn't spray it on my clothing when I wore this, so I am sure that ha if I sprayed it on clothing, I would get a better wear time out of it. But this is gorgeous. I'm so, so happy I found this because this um, fills my need for a full bottle of the Tom Ford because Tom Ford doesn't last at all on me. Um, and it doesn't last at all on a lot of you guys, which you commented um, in that video. So yeah, if you want something that lasts a little bit longer and that you can get, have the same kind of experience with, Kenzo um, Power for Men is a really good alternative, so. Okay, so on to the dupe that I found for my husband and he has worn this, he loves it, it lasts really, really well on him. This is from a house called Ray, uh, Rayane or Rayan Tradition, um, and this is called Insurrection 2 Pure. And it comes in this really beautiful box with this really pretty ribbon here. Um, you pull it out, and this is what it looks like on the inside. I was researching like alternatives for this fragrance. This one came up, and then also the Club de, Club de Nuit. Uh, I think it's the Club de Nuit Intense for men from Armoth. Uh, the only two differences were that I think they said the Club de Nuit is smokier and this one is fruitier. And so I went with this one because this one is fruitier and has more of that pineapple in it. This is gorgeous though. This really is very, very similar, like 99% similar to Aventus for him. This is beautiful. I paid less than $50 for it. Um, this is a huge bottle too. This is a three ounce bottle. And yeah, b both my husband and I are really, really happy with this. So this is cassis, bergamot, apple, pineapple, birch, jasmine, patchouli, oak moss, musk, amber, and vanilla. Really, really beautiful. I'm super happy that I picked this up. And I did pick up, this opened up um, because I had never heard of Rayanne Tradition before. So I picked up another fragrance from them because they seem to be kind of like a clone house. Um, but yeah, so that is Insurrection 2 Pure. And on that note, So on that note, we will talk about the other one that I picked up from Rayanne Tradition. And I, this one I picked up off of FragranceNet. This is called Aqua de Parisis or Parisis Monaco. Um, so I was trying to steer away from because I know a lot of people were saying 
that um, their fragrances or that one of their fragrances I can't remember they all have different cities in the name and I want to say it was maybe the Paris one or um, I don't know it was another one but it was a city and people were saying it smelled exactly like Livia Bell to me this one smells exactly like Livia Bell so um, I haven't even tested this on the skin yet because this I can tell is a beast this is going to be an absolute beast. Um, I am not the biggest fan of Livia Bell. It's just so much. <laughs> um, and don't get me wrong, I love strong fragrances. I love beast type fragrances. But there's just a lot of sweet, a lot of patchouli, a lot of everything when it comes to Livia Bell. And this one is gorgeous, I mean, but it smells, it smells a lot like La Via Belle to me. And, but I thought that they had another one that was already kind of like a clone of La Via Belle. So, I don't know, this smells exactly like it though. So, if you were looking for a really good dupe of La Via Belle, like in performance, in smell, in everything. And this even has like the little gray ribbon on the side, like La Via Belle. So, um, yeah, this one is Rayanne Tradition Aqua de Parisis Monaco. And the this was like, I want to say it was in the $25 range or something on fragrance net. So yeah, that was a, it was a good find, but one that will be going up on my Mercari because I'm just not the biggest fan. Okay. I realized that I left one out when I was going through all my perfume dot or perfume online dot CA ones. Um, and that's because I didn't write anything down for this one because it's not on Fragrantica yet. But this is by Frank Oliver and this is called Sun Java Rose Oud. Um, this one is, comes in a bottle like this. And I haven't smelled anything from Frank Oliver before. So this is kind of my first um, experience with it. And this is really, really nice. This is like a, it's like a light, like a lighter rose and oud fragrance. It's one that you could definitely wear like this time of year. Um, it's not, <laughs> this is really hard for me because I just did that video on the um, Amour Oud fragrances and all of those fragrances, like the oud in there, is such a beautiful, high-quality oud that when I smell something that is a little bit less expensive now, or it's like not as high quality of an oud, um, it's like hard for me to love it. But this does smell really nice for what it is, and definitely for the price point. It's a really pretty rose and oud fragrance, so. Um, anyways, that is Frank Oliver Sun Java Rose Oud. And last but not least, this is one that, um, this is another one that I came across on my, in, well, during my kind of Creed rabbit hole exploration. <laughs> and I also saw um, Melissa Jean just pick this one up as well. This is supposed to be a dupe of, um, Creed Aventus for her. This is a new one. This is from Al Haramain as well, and this is called La Adventure Femme. Um, I also, Melissa Jean also just picked up another one that is supposed, it's Club de Nuit Milestone from Armoff, and it's supposed to be a dupe for, um, I think Melissa May, or I think that's how you say it, Melissa May Imperial from Creed. That one I have on its way as well, and I'm really excited to smell that one. Um, this one, it comes in a really nice box, and it's in this really pretty gold bottle. And like I say, it's supposed to be a dupe for a Creed Aventus for her. Um, this is very, very pretty. But 
this goes metallic on my skin, unfortunately. I was so, so sad because I would love a good dupe for Creed Aventus for her. If you guys know of any good alternatives to Creed Aventus for her, please, please leave it in the comment section below because I would love to check them out um, because this is one of the first ones that I've seen or that I know about and this one unfortunately goes metallic on my skin and because of that I am going to have to um, part ways with this one so anyways La Adventure Femme by Al Haramain is pineapple, wild berries, bergamot, black currant, freesia, rose, cedar, musk, sandalwood, vanilla, and amber and in the bottle this smells beautiful it's a gorgeous fragrance um, I don't know if it smells like Creed Aventus for her or not because I've never smelled Aventus for her, believe it or not, but um, uh, in the bottle this is so, so good and I was so sad when it did that metallic thing on my skin because this is gorgeous. But anyways, that is La Adventure Femme um, by Al Haramain. And I think that's it, guys. I think that's everything for this haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you, well, I'll definitely rehaul these at some point because I will be wearing all of them, testing all of them, and I will give you some uh, more in depth thoughts on them when they come up in other videos. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.